So in this video, I'm going to talk about two ballpark numbers you should know before designing a hardware accelerator. <clears throat> and these two numbers are the energy cost of loading from DRAM and the energy cost of integer arithmetic on a CPU. <clears throat> and the reason to know these is, well, for DRAM, it's because DRAM is an unavoidable energy cost. Unless you're designing something that's really, really close to the sensor that's sending it data, you're going to have to get the data out of DRAM. That's going to be uh, the energy cost you pay to retrieve data from storage to process it uh, the vast majority of the time. <clears throat> and then for integer arithmetic, it's important because it's usually the baseline you're competing with. Some of the time you'll have accelerators with floating point, but typically when you get into hardware accelerator design to get peak uh, performance improvements, you're trying to engineer everything to have short uh, integer data paths. And so usually your per instruction cost is going to be uh, the per instruction integer arithmetic cost. So for the first one, um, <clears throat> the energy cost of DRAM, I realize that there's multiple numbers on this slide, but I'll summarize it in a sec. This is a, a chart taken from fine-grained DRAM, energy efficient DRAM for extreme bandwidth systems. And um, it shows the maximum DRAM access energy for a given peak bandwidth within a 60 watt DRAM power budget. And so 60 watts was chosen because that's a typical uh, DRAM power budget for a 300 watt GPU. And if you look on the x-axis, we have memory system bandwidth going from 256 gigabytes per second to four terabytes per second. And then on the y-axis, we have the per the access energy in picojoules per bit of uh, different DRAM technologies, and they show two. So uh, HBM2 has an access energy of around 4 picojoules per bit, and GDDR5 has an access energy around uh, 14 picojoules per bit. And so, just important to keep those numbers in mind, and I think, uh, you know, some lower latency, uh, as opposed to GDDR, maybe just plain old uh, DDR, might be a little bit higher in the neighborhood of something like 20 picojoules per bit. Now, if you go to what's the cost of integer arithmetic, and again, I'll summarize this one uh, in a second too. Uh, if you look at uh, this paper, whoops, excuse me, um, an energy level characterization of ARM processors by Evangelos Vasilakis, um, he found that the uh, minimum and maximum energy per instruction at one gigahertz for the ARM Cortex A7 and A15 for simple integer operations uh, was between 50 and 80 for the A7 and 200 and 450 for the A15. And this was on a, either a 32 or 28 nanometer technology. And then in Mark Horowitz's talk, uh, Computing's Energy Problem and What We Can Do About It, uh, he gave a breakdown of a 45 nanometer technology, a very simple processor implemented in 45 nanometer, and he found that for an integer add, uh, it took about 70 picojoules with uh, the lion's share taken up by iCaches uh, and control. So just keep these rough, and again, there's a huge range of CPUs and process technologies you can make them on, and there's a variety of different DRAM technologies, but the two numbers to roughly keep in mind are that DRAM loads currently are going to be on the order of 10 picojoules per bit, could be less, could be more, and integer arithmetic on the CPU, 100 picojoules per instruction for a CPU that's not super power hungry uh, is a reasonable guess. And so just one implication of that, how many integer instructions do you need in an application in order for the energy cost of the instructions, which can be optimized through accelerator design, to equal the energy cost of DRAM access, which you're pretty much stuck with and can't do anything about? And the answer is, well, DRAM takes about uh, 10 picojoules per bit, 32 bits, that's around 300 picojoules, and integer arithmetic instruction is going to be on the order of 100 picojoules, so you're going to need about three data processing instructions per word of DRAM access, or about uh, three operations per word, which is uh, you know the arithmetic intensity of the app you would need for energy cost of uh, int operations in DRAM to be balanced. So hopefully that was uh, helpful and informative. I certainly find uh, keeping those ballpark numbers in my head when thinking about possible hardware designs useful. So keep that in mind, and uh, good luck with any accelerator design projects you might be taking off on.